This is goodbye to my lovely Mac that I've had for many, many years. It's um, giving up the ghost. It's okay as long as I don't need the letter H or be able to use a cursor. So the trackpad or plug-in mouse. And so this week there wasn't going to be a Wellbeing Wednesday because I wasn't sure how to do this without my being able to edit things, without being able to use the Mac. And part of this is just going through the stuff that's, you know, on the journey of our wellbeing centre and what's going on with that. So I'm going to do this on my phone and I have no idea how I'm going to edit it. But why don't we... Why don't we just see what would happen and how it would work? Hello, welcome to another Wellbeing Wednesday. Well, to be honest, I didn't think I was going to be able to do one this week. And if you're looking at this, then yeah, you managed to get one out. But it's uh, it's been a challenge. My uh, I've had a MacBook for quite a few years, and the trusty old thing has given up the ghost. Uh, the trackpad stopped working. The point of thing was being very erratic looked up online to try and find the uh the problem with that which i did and i reset it oh brilliant that's fixed and it was fixed for a good hour and then the when the buttons the h button stopped working and so i just uh tried i spent a day trying to fix it in the end you just got to look at things and say this isn't working what's my alternatives so Hopefully, you can hold on and find out the exciting news that we got this week. But while you're here, because I can't edit this, so I don't think I can, but I'm, so I might bumble along for a bit, so bear with me. But while you're here, um, click subscribe, press the up button, because I really do need the uh, encouragement. And, uh, and, that, and that'd be brilliant. So a lot of people I help, recently in particular and uh, it seems to, it seems to go through phases of the type of people that I help and what I help them with and just lately I've been helping people who are um, reasonably established in their job they, they, they're doing quite well they're okay you know everything's fine but I've been seeming to help them to break out of that and become entrepreneurs to help them to understand and develop their passion and um, be able to look at their passion, become an entrepreneur and set that up as a business. And part of what I've, I've done, it's not just recently, I've been doing this a long time, but recently I've had an influx of people that I'm helping in this one area, so I'll talk about it. And what's really important is that your passion and the thing that you want to do doesn't become another job. And so there's many different ways we could look at that. Uh, leveraging your time and his, the right sort of marketing and there's all sorts of things. And there's things that I'm not competent in telling people about because what I focus on is I focus on the mindset, the vision, the helping you get past the inner issues and the problems and the things holding you back. And then I point you in the right direction for people who are specialists in what they do, such as accountants and so forth. And so I help people, I have been helping people, and more so lately, in sort of jumping out of, of the job. And, and I just want to clarify this. I generally say to people, keep the day job, because we've got bills to pay. In my instance, I've got a cat to feed, and all sorts of other stuff. So keep the day job. Develop your passion alongside that, and then I, I then go through different ways that that could be monetized so you can earn money from that. And as you start, as the income starts coming in, then it'll be a step over point. And um, over the years, what I've generally said to people, let's just do a W salary in in the the, the, um, the business, the, the company that you're developing, and then look at moving away to so get to that point. And some people want to jump straight in once they start earning some money. That's not the thing to do. Because why put yourself under the pressure? 
So I started talking about my Mac, my lovely old Mac. So <laughs> I forgot my. I told you before that you know there'd be bloopers and there'd be things that I'll I'll go through and say. Oh no, I made a mistake with that. Well, I'm recording on my phone and. Um, I forgot to put on airplane mode and someone just phoned me in the middle of that so I kind of lost my track of my 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 train of thought really so let's just jump back to where I think that I was so so when you set up something new it, it's it's why put yourself under pressure of 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 um, all the money to stuff as well as the new business keep your job going the job pays the bills I'll help you to be an entrepreneur. So mindset of somebody that's working for a living and you might be an expert in your field. And um, there's a joke about that, isn't there? That uh, you can spot the good farmers because they're outstanding in their field. <laughs> I'll have to go on those ch -ch -ch sound effects anyway. No, probably not. I, I, I don't even know if I can cut this out. So sorry about the waffling. But anyway, so the... Um, uh, uh, my MacBook. So my MacBook was brilliant and I liked it because it was one of the last MacBook Pros that had a little slot on the side for DVDs, CDs, things like that. I've still got some films that I, I like to watch and uh, a couple of classic CDs, uh, DVDs. So maybe an external one. But anyway, so what I'm saying is it's, uh, it's heavy and it's, it's, it's brilliant and I've had it for quite a long time. And when we start doing something, I haven't got a vast amount of money, not yet anyway, I'm just, you know, so if you go back to the early videos in the series, you'll see that I was, the, the introduction was I was basically standing in the garden saying I've got nothing but a Facebook page, well that's all changed now, and, but, I've just, so I've been looking at the new MacBook Pros, and I've also looked at, shall I get a, um, like a, a, like a normal laptop, like a Windows based laptop or something like that, and, I, and I, it's, it's obviously clearly it's a lot cheaper, but I, I, it, there's something about it I just like. I, maybe you hate Apple products, maybe you don't, I don't know. But the MacBook Pro, I just know my way around. I like all the editing stuff on it. I like the stuff. And yes, it's a premium price, but then for me, I think it's a premium product and it, it's worth it. And that's interesting, isn't it? Because the, the last videos that I've, I've done has been about the retreat. So I've been away, you've found the right retreat. I've got somebody on, on land. In fact, I had a meeting last night on Zoom. And um, and a lovely person helping me there, um, you know, from some contacts and stuff, and, and put me in the right direction as far as a few things that I want doing. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. And, but there's something else as well. So pretty much there's three now three phases or there have been for quite some time to well-being the well-being center and that is uh number one i'll be running retreats uh, abroad in the uk and workshop uh number two there'll be online courses and number three there's a mentoring program so that's we meet up once a month on a zoom meeting and then we have that's a group thing and then we have uh, every other week we we have a catch up we go through some goals just to help you move along and to make sure that if you're one of the people that's going from uh, a career to an entrepreneur a career to a company i can help you design your ideal life and what's going on i can show you where where you can go with that you've got the skills to actually do that whether you know whatever your whatever your job is whether you're an engineer or an accountant or something in between or a teacher it really doesn't matter what matters is that you have the skills and the passion but more importantly the most important thing is that you have the passion and it's something that you want to do and i love helping people that are going to help other people and so that's really the focus of, of a massive part of what i do is i help people to help people and um, so a lot of people uh, the, my favourite people that I work with are very much service to others rather than service to ourselves. So instead of saying, I'm going to do this, Mike, because help me build this because it'll make me a ton of money and I'll buy a nice house. I'm really not interested in working with these people. But if somebody was to say, we might, can you help me with this? Well, put my dreams, my ideas, my goals, my aspirations together because 
I'm going to do this and this is really going to help a lot of people. It's going to have a positive impact on people. And yes, you're going to make money along the way. Of course you are. But if the dominating thing is you want to be service to others, you want to help people and you know, I'm your man. I'll definitely help you with that. I can help you with your vision, how you feel, the motivation, the areas to go on. I'm a very intuitive person and I can give you lots of tips, ideas and so forth. And it's all very guided, it's structured and um, and we'll have fun along the way. So, so looking at the MacBook Pro, there are cheaper options. And I chose not to go with the cheaper options, I chose to go with that. So talking about the retreats, because I'm sorry I'm jumping around all over the place here, but with the retreats, I could just focus on the retreats and not focus on the others. And something that personally for me, what I was thinking about was very much about if I, there's, there's some things that I'm excellent at and there's some things that I need help with. So even the mentors need mentoring and there's areas that I need help with, but they're specialist areas. So, so although they kind of cross over, I need help with the online course that I'm going to be doing and I need help with the um, the professional and marketing and side of that for the retreat. So I've, 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 did, I've taken some time from a couple of people I'm going to work with and, and all that's great. So one of the things I was thinking about, should I do this first or should I do that first? And, and in fact, both needs to happen. And it's the same principle about the MacBook Pro, the same principle, which is, yes, I could take a cheaper option, and uh, but it wouldn't be right. And it's a false economy because I'd be looking to change things again in the future. So when I help you, one of the things that I'd be helping you with is to realise your value. And that's not like price things out ridiculously. It's what, what you know, I, I'd help you appreciate the value and the value that you've got for other people. And some things that people do is they say, oh, I know somebody who does this and they charge, I don't know, I'm gonna make some up here. They, they charge 50 pound an hour. So I'm gonna charge 45 pound an hour so I'll get more people. And that's absolutely not the way to do it. That's just a race to the bottom. I don't get involved in that. People want to come along and say, oh, I do the same as Mike and I'm charged less. Fantastic. Because if somebody's just interested in you know, cheap, 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 they're not really somebody that I would work with. But I appreciate, I really appreciate that we don't always have the financial situation that we need to move forward. And that's where I really excel with people because I, I help them to build their future life what they want to do without remortgaging without taking a massive loan without doing all this stuff because it's all step by step and and it's very much do this earn some money do this earn some money put that money back in do some more and that's one of the principles i say keep your day job keep your day job until your company your your passion your desire is um has got an income stream which you can step away from your day job so it's been a bit all over the place this week, the um, Wellbeing Wednesday. So a little bit of a quick catch up, a summary, if you will, is firstly, this is going to be poorly edited. <laughs> because, well, it is, that, that's assuming that it's very slick editing and it's not because I'm just learning as I go along. Brand new thing for me, learning as I go along. So maybe this is something I need mentoring in editing anyway. So. This is very much about me just talking to you, saying that things go wrong and sometimes we have to adapt. So I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this. I've said it about, um, uh, quite a few times now. But should we do something or should we do nothing until everything's perfect? And this is something I go through with people again. Things are never perfect. Things are, uh, And I'm not suggesting that what you offer people is good enough. You, you could do the best you possibly can. You do the best possible service and you look after people the best that you can, and you look after yourself the best that you can. And so, again, it's something else I've said on uh, quite a few times, you can't pour from an empty cup. So we look after ourselves, but fundamentally what we're doing is we're on a journey to help other people. And, and through being on this journey to help other people, we help ourselves because the other people, is the, we're gonna help them with their dreams, their aspirations, improve their life in some way. And then that again has a knock-on effect and we all raise our vibration 
and uh, the world becomes a happier place. And the people I work with become less stressed, happier, better relationships. Why? A big part of this is it's a light at the end of the tunnel. It's hope. It's being able to see a way out. And there's something, in fact, the sentence I used last night was, if you're very much in a job and you, you, know, you, you hate it, you don't want to do it, then uh, you can just think, I just want something else. And you can jump into something else. And so when you leave something, when you go into a new job, and there's two totally different attitudes here. One attitude is, I want a new job, so I want to get away from where I was working. And, and you go into that new place with that energy and you bring some of that old energy with you. And the other way is that you find something that you're passionate about and you want to do and you're going towards it. And so when you leave something because you're going towards something better, you leave all that crap and negative energy behind. And then you go into the new place because you're moving up, not moving on. And the other stuff, if you're going into a place because you just want to get away from it, you drag in the lessons and the crap and that, that bad energy with you. So there's lots of things, even though I'm very practical, very straightforward, easy talking sort of guy. I understand about universal laws, I understand about energy, and some about the law of attraction. And I explain all this, and I explain about the, how, how to do things so it's fresh, it's new, it's beginning, it's, it's on the, the app, it's rising. And, uh, and it, it's a heart-based thing that you want to do. So what's your passion? What is it you want to do in life? There's got to be more than just turning up, punching the clock, as they say. I don't mean that, but you know what I mean. So there's got to be more to just turning up, doing the work and paying the bills. And at the moment, we're in the middle of this COVID thing. So obviously in Wales, massive lockdown. I'm still self-isolating because I've got back from Lanzarote and I'm on something like about day 10 or 11 of 14. So it's very much, anyway, Saturday it's, it, it, it's up and today is Wednesday. So, But the, the, the thing is, there's time. People have a lot of time at the moment. And so why not use that time to think about what you want to do? What do you want to do? What would you like to do? What, what skills have you got? What jobs have you had? What are you passionate about? And what do people ask for help with? Do people come to you and say, you can help me with this, what's your thoughts on this? What do they come to you and ask you about? You see, those three things combined is a good starting place to what you should be offering in the world. We're not all going to be fantastic artists or athletes or famous or anything else. And some of us are just going to be doing the best we can. And there's nothing wrong with that. What I'm go where I'm going with this is live a life of passion, live a life of dreams, be who you're meant to be, help who you're meant to help, and have the life you're meant to ha have. And if you don't know what that is, get in touch and I can absolutely help you with that. And um, so, sorry about the hiccup, it's a before, but hey, you know, say la vie, <laughs> such is life a wonderful time and um, I'll tell you one more time my name is Mike and much love to you all I hope that whatever you do in life you, you feel happy and fulfilled and uh, if not reach out to someone reach out to me reach out to someone else doesn't matter find the right person for you because the right person for you will help you be who you're meant to be take it easy ta-da